Importing your video, audio, and assorted media is a piece of cake in Final Cut Pro. Let me show you how. Brian G. Johnson! Brian G. here, welcome back to the channel. Stake your claim and amplify your video editing by subscribing. Click on the bell notification and you'll be on your way. So I've got this folder on my hard drive that contains a number of different video clips I want to import into Final Cut Pro. Now the first thing I need to do is to create a folder system where all my files will reside for Final Cut Pro. Watch what happens when I click on File and then New. Notice the top selections, project, event, and library. A library is basically one folder that will contain all the media files you'll use, video clips, audio clips, etc. So the first thing to do is open up a finder window and then to select where you want all your files to reside. I want it on this hard drive, Promise Pegasus. Now what I'm gonna do is right click, select new folder, and I'm gonna name that Final Cut and then Library. Excellent. Now what I wanna do is I wanna create at least one or two additional subfolders so I can organize my files easily. Let's create one for video and another one for audio. I'll label this one video, I'll label this one audio, and I'm good to go. And I wanna remember where I created the files. Promise Pegasus in the top level, Final Cut Pro library, that's what I need to start off with. Next, let's go ahead and select File, New, and then Library. Remember, a library is like a top-level folder where all your files will reside. Now, I wanna go ahead and I wanna select Promise Pegasus, and then I wanna find, here we go, Final Cut Library, and notice it says save as, and I wanna call that Final Cut Library. Okay, now what I've got is I've got a new library. Notice it says here Final Cut Library. That's where all these files and folders are gonna reside. And here, if we're in the inspector window, you can see it resides on the Promise Pegasus hard drive. Excellent. Now the next thing I wanna do is I wanna organize subfolders so I can easily find the media I want. Now let's create those subfolders that I mentioned. I'll right click on Final Cut Pro and then notice it says new event. Think of an event as the subfolder. So I'll click that and now you'll see we've got it uh, named based on the date. I don't like that. I want video. All my video clips will be uploaded here. So let's do that now. Remember those video files I have on my hard drive? Well, what I wanna do now is import them into the library I just created. So here you can see I've got a window that has all the files of my desktop. There's the folder. And I wanna pull in this FPC Ken Burns clip. So I'm gonna find the same folder on my hard drive, my library. And remember that was called Final Cut library right here. And I wanna add that into the subfolder that says video. So what I need to do is I'll drag that over, it's copied over and I'm good to go. Now what I can do is I can copy in the footage from that folder. Now, one of the things I wanna mention is I created that subfolder on my external hard drive, so I'd always have access to those particular files. Next, to pull in the video, I'll simply click Import Media, the folder where they reside, FPC Library, that's not the one, it's this one, Final Cut Library. And here you can see the subfolder video, and notice I've labeled the folders in the libraries the same to make it easy for me to figure out where things are at. I'll open that up, there's my Ken Burns clip, and now it's importing, you can see this little wheel that I'm pointing to with the mouse clicker, that is importing and rendering into Final Cut Pro. So how do you actually create one specific video? Well, what you do is you're gonna come into File, New, and then a video is actually called a project in Final Cut Pro. I'll select that, and here you can see I've got the various settings, so I'll select OK, but first, before I do that, I wanna name this FPC Ken Burns Effect. I'll click OK, and in this window here, right, now I've got this project, and if I open that, now I'm working on this particular video. Here's my timeline. I can pull this into the window, and I can start to modify, I can raise 
Uh, the volume on this, if I want, you can see the audio waves moving up and down and so on. And that's how easy it is to pull in various types of media for Final Cut Pro. Mm -hmm.